Hey guys, we are back for another episode. And in this episode, we are gonna give you a lay of the land and give you a little background on how our family came upon this property. Don't mind the wet hair. We just uh, bathed, took a bath, so we're nice and clean. <laughs> A majority of this land is forest, <laughs> which is fine. A lot to be still be explored. So my folks, they had been looking in this area for a very long time for some property. And they never quite went this far north, but boy, was it a good idea <laughs> going this far north because they found this wonderful place. And so before they purchased it, they had to figure out what they were working with. So my folks, they hired a surveyor and me and my dad, we, we came up here, met the surveyor and did some exploring. I remember Ben texting me when he was up here and even coming back and telling me about it. And he was like, oh my gosh, there is so many tall ferns and crazy plants. It was almost like we were at in like Jurassic Park. Um, and machetes and had to like chop things down just to kind of see what was what was going on And that's something we still have to do now obviously because there's so much land and things keep keep growing We've owned this place for a little over four years and we would come up do some exploring come up do some exploring and then finally we had to figure out a solution uh, to do exploring without having to run up the hotel bill. <laughs> yeah. So that's when Ben and his dad came up with the idea to build um, a bunkhouse and a kitchen out of some shipping containers. They did a lot of brainstorming and then this was the best, most secure, safe, uh, warmest <laughs> solution. Um, so they spent a summer, two, almost two summers ago now, building these shipping containers, one that is, I think, 20 feet, right? Uh, 30 feet. 30 foot, which is like a bunkhouse. It has 12 beds in there, plus a little living room area, and then a 10 foot shipping container, which is a kitchen. And we had to build a separate kitchen because we don't want to attract animals. <laughs> and there's animals all over the place yeah. here. Let's do some exploring. Let's, right. let's show them the property. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so we are in field one, <laughs> right here. <Whoops>. <laughs> so this is the first field behind us, and the first field is about five acres, and this is ag land. So this is uh, an area we could do a lot of growing, and we're not there yet. We'll show you in a second yeah. here the field that uh, that we're working at, but. This is another huge field that we could be growing at eventually. Yeah. Five acres here. The total property size is 201 acres. And there's a total of yeah. seven acres that is agriculture land, area that we can grow in. And then all the rest of that acres is just wilderness and forest lots and of trees yeah lots of places to explore still so like i said almost two summers ago ben and his dad built the shipping containers and then that following fall is when we had them brought up here and then last summer is when him and his dad came and spent a very long time up here about four months total planting exploring the land and just really getting to know the place and prior to coming up here we planted a lot of seed <laughs> so we planted some berry bushes we had a ton of fruit trees that we had been growing already that we brought up with us we had a lots of vegetables and then we grew lots of <laughs> lots of herbs and so we brought them all up with us and we said you know what we're gonna try this out and we're just gonna plant them and leave and if they come back and they're still growing our plan worked they're still alive <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of them did really really well and then some of them failed 
and you're always going to have those failures, but uh, the fact that a lot of them actually grew and stayed healthy, it says a lot about the area that you don't have to do a lot of watering where we're at and trees will survive. I don't know if you can hear the wind, but we've had kind of off and on showers today and it is a windy one. Yes. Yes. And that's because we're so close to the ocean. Yeah, we can hear the waves roaring. The way the beach is not on the property, but um, right where the property gate is, across the road is where the beach is. So it's pretty nice that we're also that close to, to the beach. So shall we show them the next area? Let's do it. Okay. What do we got behind us here? We have the creek. The creek. So this creek runs all the way to the ocean. We are the last stop before the ocean. Our property borders the ocean. Now what does that mean? So because we're so close to the ocean, every morning and every evening, that fog rolls right in and it does a lot of the watering for us. Yes, so it limits that how much watering that we need to do. So the fog rolls in, gets in a nice good mist, and then if it's a really hot day, then we'll have to do some of the watering ourselves. All right, we got some more action behind us. This, this is, is the geyser. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's also three wells on the property. Yeah, so the geyser is where we get water year round. So this is running year round. The other creek that we just looked at, that dries up usually around the 4th of July or so. So this geyser we'll see running year round. And there's two wells over here and another well that connects to the, uh, the big creek we just talked about. So let's keep moving. So there are tons of great wild foods here. There are wild salmon berries, wild blackberries, thimble berries, so lots of really great berries. Black raspberries. Black raspberries. And then on top of that, there's tons of really healing herbs here as well um, that we have started exploring, putting into tinctures and using them as medicine. So like uh, nettle, plantain leaf, yarrow leaf, Okay, our last stop here and... This is the other field. It's about two acres. And this is where our shipping containers are and where we are doing our market garden. The field behind us used to be an old ancient riverbed. So before the field was the field, it used to be a riverbed. Which means we're planting directly on soil that has lots of nutrients and vitamins, minerals, all that good stuff. The stuff that your plants love. <laughs> <laughs> so tell them how many uh, garden beds we are shooting for. Okay, so we're shooting for 20 beds. 20 50 foot beds. 20 right? 50 foot beds. So lots of beds, lots of work. <laughs> You know, we're doing it how we did it last summer. So we're bringing wheelbarrows and wheelbarrows of the forest compost and the sand. And I'm going to show you that yeah. in a later video. We had but two big dump truck loads of compost, compost delivered. So lots of good stuff getting mixed in together. You guys just missed the yellow canary. I missed it. I, I haven't seen it yet. Ben has seen <laughs> it like every single day and I still have not seen the yellow canary that he talks about. You can hear it chirping right now. It sounds like it's over there. Okay. We gotta find it. We're gonna go hunting for this <laughs> this yellow canary so we gotta get going. We'll see so, you guys later. Yeah subscribe <laughs> if you're not subscribed already. Hit that bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video and please comment below if you have any questions or if you love this video. Yeah, throw us some comments. We love hearing from you. All right. All right. More See ya. later on the land. See ya.